Blog Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim G.K., sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of the Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of the Core Business Show, Tim G.K. Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Core Business Show. I'm Tim G.K., your host. We're going to talk about today how to become an effective leader. So let's take a break real quick, and we'll be back in a moment. You'll listen to The Core Business Show. I'm Tim J.K., your host. You're listening to The Core Business Show, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. Apple Capital Group in Jacksonville, Florida, is a commercial lender that specializes in asset-based loans, equipment leasing and financing, invoice financing, commercial real estate loans, and asset-based financing in the U.S. and Canada. Apple Capital Group is a direct lender that lends on their private equity investment portfolio. Ninety percent of most loans are decided within two hours, and vendor funding within 24 hours after documents are completed with a one-page application. No slow no's, just a quick decision and a fast yes. To get more information about lending from Apple Capital Group, call 866-611-7457. That's 866-611-7457 to speak with one of our loan specialists. Or visit us right now at applecapitalgroup.com. Welcome back to The Core. Once again, here's Tim Jacquet. Okay, let's go ahead and just dive into the topic. The topic is called Characteristics to Become an Effective Entrepreneur. Before a doctor diagnoses you with a particular de- disease, the, the patient must undergo certain tests and series of exams to assess who you are. You need to be that as the entrepreneur. You really need to test yourself. I've posted on, on the Core Business Show website several months ago, I did a show on how to diagnose yourself as an entrepreneur to see if you cut out the person who's going to take rejection, who's going to have no's thrown at them constantly, who is going to have to think outside of the box and be very creative in order to be an entrepreneur. That's what it's all about. And you must take that assessment to make sure that you are ready to become an entrepreneur because it's a different mindset because you're Entrepreneur doesn't depend on anyone else to bring them income. You have to bring your own your own food. In the sense of working in the car industry for ten years in finance and sales, one thing is I say you when you work in commission, you got to be your own person. You're the long hunter, and nothing you can't feed your family or feed yourself if you can't have the skill of a hunter because you are a hunter. So. Imagine as an entrepreneur, you're the hunter and nothing, nobody eats until you kill something. Not staying in one sense, but you must make the sale in order to be become effective. Here's about six things you really need to think about. You've got to be optimistic and in things in a positive way without any circumstances that's going to hinder your progress. You've got to be assertive. You've got to be knowledgeable. You've got to be a go-getter. Be very optimistic. Number two, you want to be creative. Think outside the box, as I mentioned. Expanding one mind is what is beyond the ordinary thought of research and collecting data. You've got to be creative in order to get the sale done. Number three, you've got to be stable physically, mentally, socially, emotionally. A leader must possess a stable life, which means he can handle tough situations during tough times. So if you know that you have tough times as people grew up in the country, you must have a nest egg. You must have things that you can eat when you miss a month with no income. You need to know how to ration your food or cut back in order to keep things as an evil kill. So kind of keep that in mind as well. So you got to be stable. You must be charismatic. You got. I mean, you got to be an intellectual person and communicating with all different types of wife. You got to be a chameleon who says, you know, someone is charming or you're nice. You listen to people, you consider them, also you're aggressive because you want to persuade them to do what you need them to get done. You must be a risk taker is without saying. It's a it's someone who's been someone beginning a dream, you must 
become a risk taker because you're going to have to take a lot of risk in order to make something happen. You must be interject, uh, interjected. Can't talk today. You got to be enthusiastic, interjected, ejected, willing to do whatever it takes to finish, to get to the finish line. Okay. And you must also set your time limits. You got to know how to ration time. You got to be able to manage your time. You must be time bound. So you know, you have this amount of time to do this. This amount of time to do that. So kind of keep in mind that you must manage your time effectively. And those are really the characteristics. Again, be optimistic, be creative, be stable, be charismatic, be a risk taker. You got to be enthusiastic or interjected, energetic. But you also must be time bound. And someone made a comment here, which I'm going to, you need to know your niche. Exactly. Uh, Thank you, Patrick. You gotta specialize in one thing, and I have people on the show constantly doing the same thing and says you need to develop a niche. Don't be the Walmart that carry everything in your particular store. You specialize in this. If you're doing cupcakes, do cupcakes. Do the things that you're good at. Don't do things that if someone says, Hey, if they have this great idea, why don't you try to open this thing instead? Hey, go into cakes. If you're not a cake maker, stay with cupcakes. And let people know that you're a cupcake maker. It's popular right now. Take advantage of it. Do all things cupcakes. If you're going to do a wedding cake company, do wedding cakes. And that's all you do. They make a lot of money in wedding cakes. People will pay thousands of dollars on wedding cakes, believe it or not, to make that item special. Cake is more of an art for weddings. So not only is the taste, it's also the artistic value of having a cake. So find out your niche market is. Know your customers. Know what your limitations are. And do what you can to get it done. Again, it's been an episode. I'm going to put this on the website. You can kind of read through it. Call the characteristics to become an effective leader. Everybody, thank you for listening. I'm Tim J.K. You listen to The Core Business Show. Thank you for listening. Everybody have a great day. Thank you for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim J.K. For more information about equipment financing and asset-based loans, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. Or call us at 866-611-7457. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to the core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. And thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.